We've got a good video here. Um, it's actually, um, well, I, I did this a while ago. Uh, so this friend of mine, he got, uh, he's a, mainly a Gibson guy, and he decided to go into the Fender world, so he wanted to get a really nice guitar. So he got a, you know, a custom shop Stratocaster. It's a really pretty one with a rosewood board and a shell pink, it's relic, it's light relic, I think. And, um, with the tortoiseshell pickguard. So it's a really nice guitar, really cool um, visual you know, guitar. But he wasn't happy with it as he bought it. Uh, he bought it from Andertons. Uh, I love the guys on Andertons, but this particular guitar, I wasn't sure if it was sitting on the shop for too long or what happened, but it needed a setup. That's why he wasn't happy with the guitar. It's an amazing guitar. Once I went there, did the setup, he was really happy with it. And because I went there to do this setup for him, I asked if I could bring my guitar over, which is this one, my Little Red, okay, which is a parts caster, um, mainly with Mexican parts. So I have to give you a little disclaimer before. Uh, the guitars are different, of course. Uh, just to start, uh, this is an uh, older body, and his one is an ash body. This one has a regular, you know, um, the finish is a you know a regular Mexican vintage finish, but I send it off most of it, so it's quite thinner than it used to be, but still has some lacquer in the front and it's quite a thick finish. His one is the thin nitro with ash body, so that's already a whole different game. But and the pickups are different as well. But I wanted to still do a comparison just to, for the sake of showing that you can get a really good quality guitar, a gigging guitar that is, this is one of my best guitars, which doesn't mean that a custom shop are crap or anything like that, or that you can get the same guitar for way less money. No, it's a totally different guitar. It's much better wood quality and stuff. I personally don't get attached to that too much. For me, it's more about the playability and the overall sound of the guitar and the looks. I like the looks, I like a guitar that looks nice. And this for me looks, as cool as any relic guitar, you know. I mean, of course, the relics are great. I think they're cool, but I'm happy with this. That's my point. Uh, I'm talking too much already. I'm gonna give you more details about the difference between the two guitars after you hear the comparison, the audio sound. Uh, just to let you know, so I recorded this with a Zoom H6 with a condenser uh, mic in front of the. Uh, in front of the speaker is a 12 inch 4x12, four by so it's a, one, of the four, uh, one of the 12. I think it's a greenback speaker um, and it's a JS, J, uh, JCM800, uh, um, the Zach Wild version, I think. Anyway, the amp is completely clean. I just put a little bit of compression and reverb on post production, okay? But yeah. Watch the video and then I'll talk a little bit more.
Okay guys, so now that you heard the footage, um, my opinions are that I actually still prefer my guitar. You know, I prefer the Fat 50s. Uh, his guitar has the 69 uh, Custom Shop, which I love those pickups. I think they're really good. I put them on full sets of 69 on my friend's guitar a long time ago, like a few years ago. We love the sound. That's why I actually decided to buy my Fat 50s in the first place because I, I heard his 59 and I thought, oh man, this sounds better than anything else. But I wanted something different from his guitar, I didn't want it to sound just like him, so I went for the Fat, Fat 50s and I've been happy with them since ever since. And when I did this comparison, like I said, there's so many different things. My guitar is 10 inch radius, his guitar is 9 inch radius. My guitar uh, has older, his guitar is ash, the, the painting jobs are different. Um, the, although I did adjust his, his guitar to be exact as mine, the pickup height were the same. Uh, it was a, we got, I got different strings, so it was like uh, my ones were Alexius 10, the one, his ones were, I don't know, the ones that come with the Fender, I think it's something similar to the Dario maybe, but it's, it was 10s as well, but they're different because the the Alexer has the coding and everything, and my one's been my guitar for at least a year. I don't know how long the other strings were. They were not brand new, I could tell by the feel. Uh, but, you know, like I said, there's many, many differences between the two guitars. They're completely different guitars. But the overall tone quality for me was just established that my guitar is as good as the customer shop that he bought. In my opinion, I'm satisfied with mine. Maybe you guys listened to it and thought, oh, the custom shop was miles away better, but uh, yeah, I, I, that's my opinion. I, I don't agree with that. I think my one is as good as any custom shop would be, regardless uh, wood quality and stuff like that. You know, but, but the pickups are really important. So it's more about for me for the sound. Of course, everything affects the sound, but. Pickups and playability are the two main things that anyone should go for, and then you go for little minor details from that on, in my opinion. Uh, for instance, just an example, I used to have the Fender Mexican original vintage tuners here, and I changed for the Goro Relic uh, tuners, these are made in Japan. I did notice a difference in the sound of my guitar. Actually, it was less bright. Not in a bad way, but it was less bright when I put these. I noticed a difference. Of course, you pass, you have the nuts here, which are, is the same, but even then I noticed a difference when I changed for these. Which means that if I do change these, it will make a difference before. I, I'm sure you guys seen in many other vlogs, like the ones from the guy from um, Mick Taylor from the pedal show and stuff. He changing his bridge, he changing his... It's, I mean, it's all there. The sound does change. But, but in the gigs, for a gig, uh, 
it doesn't make any difference to be honest. If you're recording, if you want your strats to sound perfect to your ears and stuff, yeah, you can dig into that and go to many, many details. But, like for instance, combination of different pickups and stuff like that, that's really interesting. I did it myself. I got a Fat 50s. Um, uh, I mentioned before in other videos, but I'm going to say it again here. Like, I got a Fat, fat 50s in the, in the neck position, and I got uh, pure vintage 65 in the middle and then the bridge. And I love this combination because when you're in the position two or in the, my position, well, position four, and in my position two, which is not these, it's the Telecaster combination, uh, I feel like they complement each other because the 65 is more mid-rangey and, and not, so, not so fat, and so they don't have so much low end. But the Fat 50s has a lot of low end, so that combination is really cool. Um, and in his guitar, you got a big mix, like you got the Texas Special here and you got the 65 just like mine here, so that's the only comparison in the video that you can kind of see more of the difference of the, the rest of the guitar, because the pickups are actually the same. Um, and he got the 69 on the neck, so 69, 65 and Texas Special. My one is Fat 50s, 65 and 65 Pure Vintage, both Pure Vintage. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like an A, B comparison in the sense of which one is better, or which sound, like which pickup you should have, but it's just an overall view of two different guitars, how strats can sound so different, um, and with all of the minor appointments, you know, everything can, can make a, you know, a, a small difference for every appointment, but once you change it all, it becomes a big difference. So if all your hardware on the guitar is cheap stuff, and you change one, it might not be a big of a deal. But if you change all your hardware for good stuff, for good material, good metal, it will make a difference in the sound. It will be definitely noticed. I mean, you will be able to notice, to, to hear the difference. Anyway, uh, talked a lot, talked really fast today, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, because I'm actually in a hurry today. It's a busy day. Uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more videos in English like this. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in some Brazilian flavorish rock, check out my music on Spotify. You know, you might like it. I know most people don't speak Portuguese around the UK, so or anyway. but you might enjoy it for the melody, or for the for the rock guitars and stuff like that. And as a reminder for people who are coming to the channel now, I'm doing an actual record in English. Hopefully I'll put it out this year, or maybe early next year, but I'll try to put out by the end of this year. It's a, uh, another solo record, but this time it's going to be my first record uh, in English. Uh, and that's it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do a lot of covers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nirvana, and many other stuff. Check it out. Have a look on the channel. Uh, and I'll try to do more of these comparison videos, maybe some pedals reviews. Who knows? Uh, thank you for watching and have a good good weekend, a good day, a good week. And yeah, I mean, I don't know when you're watching this, but hope you have a good time and stay safe. See you around. Peace.